Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. My name is Nakum Vivial. If today is not the first time we come across this channel, I'll try subscribe, like, and share. Okay, guys, what do we want to do today? Today we want to see one important verb where we use always, but we don't even really think about them. Hmm? We don't even know say we use them always. Ciao a tutti, mi chiamo Convivial, questo è il mio canale. Seguitemi, commentate e condividete. E mi raccomando, mettete like se vi piace. <laughs> you know, like if you they talk, you know they really pay attention to the things when you they talk one by one, right? And this verb, they call it stare. If you want to translate them, like, as it just be for English, not to stay. But we they use them for many expressions for Italian language. Like in a day, we they use that verb. I don't even know how many countless times. Okay. So more we'll go, before we go, may I do small acting small? Okay, we we'll still use the verb. Oh yeah, more we we'll go. Convi, come stai? Convi, how are you? Sto bene. Solo che. Non riesco a finire i compiti per casa. I do okay. Well, let's say I don't finish my homework. Okay. How many times will we use verb study now? We use it many times. She asked me. By the way, now my sister did background. She asked me, Convivia, come stai? Stai comes from the verb stare. Tell us, sto bene. Solo che non riesco a finire i compiti per casa. What do you mean? It means say, I did okay. Or let's say, I don't finish my homework. Maybe she see me say, I did a little bit worried or I did a little bit like person where they think. So you can't ask me, what thing they saw? How far? What in, like, how you did? Now I can tell us, I did fine. Let's say, no, my problem now, I never finish my homework. Stai tranquilla. Ti do una mano io. Calm down. I'm going to help you. Okay. You know, stai tranquilla. Even that stai, it comes from verb stare. So now, we will go conjugate the verb. When I don't already know what it means to conjugate the verb. Okay. If I refer to myself, stop. You stop. If I refer to you, to stai. If I refer to he, she, lui, lei, sta. If I refer to us, noi stiamo. If I refer to una, voi state. And if I refer to de, loro stanno. Okay? Okay. Now, we will go see some expressions. What would they use this verb they do? For instance, um, initially, my sister asked me, come stai? Which, which come from the expression, stare bene. It means for person to do okay. Okay? Stare bene. Io sto bene. Tu stai bene? You did okay? Voi state bene? Una de okay? Mo we'll go right to the next one. The next one now. Stare sulla difensiva. You know when they use that one? Now when person, it they always they like defend itself for any situation. If you tell her, say, you do this thing, they will always find a way to take defend itself. Like, if they always they say that the same defensive area, like, mm -mm. <laughs> whether good or bad, though, it must defend itself. Okay. Stare sulla difensiva. Okay. Stare zitti. Or stare zitta. Or stare zitto. It depends on the subject we will refer to. If I did... One time you say, me, you shut up and you be man. I'll tell you, stai zitto. Stai zitto. Okay. But if you be woman, I'll tell you, stai zitta. If not be only like, only one person, maybe not uh, more than one person, you can be more than shut up, right? Stai zitti. If the day missed up. But if not only guess, I'll say, stai zitte. But if na men, men, I will still talk, say, stati zitti. Okay, stai zitto, man, stai zitta, woman, stati zitte, more than one woman, stati zitti, is that men, men, or 
midst of men and women. So we will go to other expressions. For instance, when they talk, say non stare più nella pelle. What do you mean? Non stare più nella pelle. It means say, as English people just say, I can't wait for such thing to happen. No stop you nella pelle. Okay. It means say you know feel great for you to see that thing, or you know feel way to do something, or you know feel way to see something. Okay, non stare più nella pelle. Okay, another one now. Stare con le mani in mano. What he mean? It means say person no they do anything. Okay, I feel tell you say mi dai una mano, mi mi aiuti. Invece di stare con le mani in mano, you feel help me instead of you to date this, you know, they do anything. Okay. Then another one. Um, stare al qualcuno. Stare al qualcuno. Okay. What does that one mean? That one means say, like, the decision you don't date that person hand to make. Okay, for instance, now if you talk, if you talk, say, ta te decidere. It depends on you now. You, it is your hand to decide. Ta a te decidere della tua vita. What did I talk there? I say, now it is your hand for you to take decision about what you get to do with you. Okay, sta a te. Stare al qualcuno, you may say the thing, it day your hand. Okay, now you're supposed to take the decision, like the thing, the decision, the way for you to take. Start te. Okay. Then, another one, where be the last uh, one we will get for today? Now be stare a cuore. Stare a cuore. What's the meaning of stare a cuore? It means say you get that thing. Or that person at heart, like now something or person where you like it they important to you. Okay, if for instance now I feel tell you say Judith, Mister Quare, it means say Judith, I take him like I care about him. Nine be starry a quare. If you use them for something or if you use them for person. Okay. Okay, guys, Mona, let me know for the comment section whether or not I don't hear all these expressions before. Okay, I'm gonna always remember I said we did do live videos on Saturday for Facebook around for when I make sure say una the dead year and una no say we get WhatsApp number where we they try to communicate. I'm gonna try to also they follow me for my other platforms, which be TikTok. I don't know why they always they forget that one, but TikTok and Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to follow me until the next one. Ciao.